hit me up in the comments if you're a frozen pizza fancifier. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hello and welcome to another installment of this strange thing that I do on the internet. Today we have a cauliflower crust pizza that I've never tried before, my first time trying. I'm very excited. We are waging a war against carbohydrates one day at a time. And uh, I've been craving a pizza so, so, so hard, <laughs> obviously, because when you're not eating pizza, life kind of sucks. But it's piping hot, fresh out the kitchen, remixed to ignition, and uh, I'm ready to get started because I like it. I like a hot pizza so Bushido blade on deck I am gonna cut it before we pour but we will pour now you might say damn that pizza's looking good and I would have to tend to agree and I'm in the debate do I cut it into eight or these quarters Maybe I'll go with the quarters for today, I think. But I do like to eat it in smaller, more manageable pieces, but maybe we'll change that in a moment here. Okay, before we do anything more, we must. Pour. It's an A&W root beer thing. And we go in. Quick escape, fast pour. Okay, perfect. Now, this looks so good due to the fact that, first of all, it's a three cheese pizza, okay? But today I'm making it a six cheese. Because before the oven, I added another mozzarella cheddar Mexican cheese blend that I had in the fridge. And additionally as well, I have true Italian Grana Padano that I'm adding as well. So that's going to make it a little more bonkers because fresh grated Parmesan cheese is the tits. <laughs> and then the tomatoes and the sausage I added myself out of the fridge as well. So we're dressing up a three as a nine. So I can certainly smell the cauliflower of the of the crust. Oh, we are gooey on the cheese, so that's good. That's good news. Let's get everyone on the train, ready for the ride. We got the sausage, the tomato, and the ranch. Of course. If you would just stay on, that'd be great, sir. Thank you. All right, we've got the first legitimate bite. Let's go. Wow. Holy crap. That's insane, dude. The first question in your head is probably how many carbs is in that? For the whole pie, it's 60. The, uh, You know, eating low carb is 50 grams, so I can afford 10 extra grams. I used like three extra cherry tomatoes, so that's like not even a gram of carbs. And there was none in this sausage, so we're looking at like 62 grams of carbs, let's call it. So we're good. Very, very good. So this is wild. I did not expect it to be this good. The 
texture of the crust is legitimate. As you could probably just hear right there, there is a crunch factor to it. It's nice and thin. It's not too doughy. It's got that going on, that nice little brown crisping. Mm. Obviously the addition of all the cheeses makes it better. I love an oven cooked juicy tomato. To be honest, this thing is slamming right now. And maybe it's because I haven't eaten bread or anything in 18 days, you know? I've been that diligent, that good. I also haven't drank alcohol in 18 days. And, uh, this thing is legit, man. Even that little like, crust there, that darker crust, I love that. I brought some hot sauce as well. That we can have a drizzle. Mmm. Wow. hot sauce plays off the cheese so good hmm I am legitimately thoroughly impressed with this this is actually very very good And what's wild too is that the entire time I've been on this like keto low carb, I've been uh, fantasizing about when I do make my triumphant return to a meal that's just like full body, like ready to go. Like I'm just going to eat anything I want basically upon my return once I hit my goal here which won't be till sometime in February so I don't get too excited too quick but the whole time <clears throat> I've been thinking about what I wanted to eat when I come back is the Little Caesars with wings and like crazy bread just like a video I did around Halloween I've been craving that video like crazy more than anything else but this is surprisingly satiating that crave I can honestly tell you and say for real that I could eat this pizza and not miss regular pizza and just eat this pizza for just to have pizza.
hit me up in the comments if you're a frozen pizza fancifier. Because I am. I do it all the time. I'll just get a frozen pizza, usually just a plain cheese or a very simple one. You know, if they don't have, you know, a lot of the <clears throat> brands don't make the exact pizza that you would want in your mind. So you just get the basic one. And then at home you have the other stuff. Just pop it on yourself. And you're just living golden after that. That's how I roll. Hmm. Just wow. And like, after almost three weeks of not having anything like this texture, just hits so different. hot sauce too. Unreal. Root beer for dessert. Truth be told though, I could actually smash two of those right now. That felt like I know once I give it 10 minutes, I'll be good. But if I had another one pop in front of me right now, you could bet your bottom dollar it would be getting polished. Oh. Wow. So good. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. <laughs>